sane organizations value UXers. They get that you're better than the best chat GPT clone. But we are ultimately workers in the tech industry. If there's anything we know about tech, change is the only constant. The industry is constantly evolving. With the introduction of powerful AI tools, the tech job landscape has undergone massive shifts already. And this shift is still happening. Human jobs have been automated away. Where they haven't been automated, they've almost definitely evolved to become way more efficient using AI tools. Where do UXers stand in all of this? Here's how we are thinking of the impact of AI in UX research. This video is an effort of Team Loop Panel. We're a startup streamlining user interviews by offering excellent transcription, note-taking and analysis capabilities. More on this later. Speculation at first glance was easy, with a lot of LinkedIn pundits weighing in and new ideas being thrown about. Specifically, there were two initial impressions that we saw getting some popularity online. The first one came at the height of ChatGPT's popularity. People were blown away by the conversational capabilities of this chatbot and were making all sorts of predictions. In the case of UX research, it was speculated that a chatbot would eventually get powerful enough to talk to users by itself. It would interview users maybe or guide them through some unmod sessions where the moderator would be an AI instead. The second one came a little later with the speculation that being an AI might be used to gather initial feedback on a prototype without even showing it to users. Here's what these get wrong. They assume that the popular implementations of AI that they see, in this case ChatGPT mostly, are actually forming coherent sentences. This isn't the case though. Large language models like ChatGPT, Copy AI, etc. do not actually think of coherent sentences. They have access to vast amounts of training data based on which they throw together some words in a sentence. Hopefully, that sentence would make sense. If not, well, we tried. You've conducted user interviews in the past. You know that the skill of talking to users to bring out their feedback is inherently human. You need to think on your feet, make sure you aren't pushing them too far, make sure you aren't being too vague, and a hundred other nuances that you take care of almost without thinking about it. Those nuances cannot be worked into an AI. At least for a while, we hope. Similarly, an AI cannot act as a user, since user feedback stems from some sort of a pain they've experienced. At best, an AI model could tell us how something lacks readability, how information on a page could be better structured, etc. It won't be able to feel the weird sense of intrusion when asked for its credit card info before a free trial. So, does that mean UX research will be left untouched by AI? I mean, it's still a pretty cool piece of tech, right? We don't think so. AI will help researchers become more efficient by automating the clerical part of their jobs. If we think of AI as another coworker, they'd be weird. They would be extremely good at handling large amounts of reading homework for a project, getting through mountains of reports quickly and effectively. But they'll be terrible during brainstorming sessions use them to go through mountains of data since that's what they love anyway. Once you're done with your user interviews for a project, AI can step in to help create their transcripts. Once that is done, AI will step in during the analysis part of your project. It will be, and it already is, a more efficient way to take notes out of your transcripts, for example. Do you have a discussion guide or a list of questions with you? An AI model will have a much easier time sifting through your transcripts and summarizing relevant information under each question. Of course, an AI model will be better at analyzing the heaps of quantitative data. This will lead to more pattern recognition, highlighting problems using larger data sets, and some extra time for the humans to pursue the more creative aspects of their jobs. Reaching insights about how other human beings interact with your product will always end up being your responsibility. An AI can only help you get there quicker with fewer roadblocks along the way. 
We are seeing this effect firsthand with our users. You don't actually need to do any like advertising or like coming up with quotes or being like, this is the product. You just need to be like, do you hate your job when it comes to synthesis? Do you <laughs> hate it? I think that's going to be our new website. Okay. We record their user interviews for them, create the best transcripts in the game, and offer auto-suggested notes based on their discussion guides. This has been particularly helpful for smaller teams with lower research budgets and tight deadlines. We'd love for you to test us out. Just check out the link in the pinned comments. Look, AI is scary. I write content for a living. It's coming after me way before it looks in your direction. But instead of thinking of this big confusing new thing as a threat, it's better to look at it as yet another tool that will supplement your job and create new verticals within the field of UX research that you can then pursue. Someone needs to train the AI models so that they work well. Someone needs to design the prompts needed to make it work through terabytes of quant data. Someone needs to fact check and discard the AI inputs when it starts hallucinating. We are looking at it the way people should have looked at machines during the industrial revolution. A few jobs will be replaced by the machines, but it will boost our efficiency and create a disproportionately larger number of jobs. Jobs that we haven't yet thought of in many cases. As I said earlier, we are all in the tech industry. It will change or it will rot away. We wouldn't want the latter to happen. Since change is happening regardless, the best that you and I can do is brace ourselves for it and adapt our style of work to suit the future. A future which will hopefully be more efficient, more creatively fulfilling, and with more time on our hands for the occasional afternoon nap. I'll see you next time. With love, Lupano.